guys and welcome to Facebook Live. So today we actually have a special sneak peek of some of the construction that's going on in our amphibian and reptile building. And today I have Keith and Brian here from our maintenance department and they're going to talk to us a little bit about all the work that they've been doing on our amazing amphibian reptile building. Hey guys, this is Keith and Maintenance. Uh, we get to show off uh, what we get to do in maintenance here at the zoo. Uh, currently we're constructing uh, all these new exhibits and it's probably not as exciting as all the cool animal videos, but we get to show another side of the zoo. So. so what are we looking at here, Keith? Um, this is our new venomous gallery side. Um, before, I don't know if people might remember that this used to just be an open exhibit. So that got um, taken out and we are sending all of our venomous. So I can kind of see back here. Yeah, there's that open area. So before there used to be like plants, um, there was a keeper chat area back here, right? Right, yeah, and it was uh, pretty plain. So we wanted to mimic what we've done on the other sides here. So how many new exhibits do we have? Um, this is being replaced. This is ha has the same amount of exhibits on this side. Uh, we're just updating our facade and the jewelry boxes here. And then these uh, will have nine new exhibits. So the ends here will be will look like our old venomous gallery, and then this will look like our uh, new side here. Very cool. So you guys are doing a lot of woodwork over here. What all goes into that process? Um, here, uh, we basically ripped all the old stuff out and took it down to basically just a concrete hole. And we had to level everything out. And, uh, our job is kind of hard sometimes, so we have to do a lot of retrofitting. Um, so we had to get everything leveled up and uh, do a lot of uh, framing here. Um, we rearranged the exhibits, so we wanted to divide them out equally. So we needed to make sure that we had enough room for all the tanks. And we had to redo the stands in the back. Uh, Brian welded all these up here. If you want to check those out, they're pretty heavy duty for everything that goes in there. Wow, that looks amazing. So then, uh, basically we just use pine to frame everything in and we'll, we wrap it with uh, red oak. So it's a good hard wood. It'll stand up to uh, a lot of guests uh, coming through here. Um, and then uh, we built these doors because a lot of the problem before with the old exhibits, uh, the keepers would have to pull the tanks back to clean the glass and that's uh, a lot of work for the keeper it's a lot of work a lot of uh, stress on the animal so we designed these to open and each one is individual individual and so now we can pull these doors down they'll be able to wipe the glass here wipe the glass there it'll be a lot easier that is so cool now one thing that I've noticed is that you guys are trying to uh, mimic the uh, aesthetic around the rest of the building, right? right? Yeah. Um, so all of this concrete work here was already in the building, but the concrete work on the other side is brand new, right? Right, yeah. The, we had a stemwall board to mimic that, and we wanted to have this match um, each side. Now, and we were talking earlier that um, when it was EB that made the concrete work in here, correct? Right. Right. Now, when they did that, they were trying to um, mimic something that was very unique to this building. Can you tell me a little bit about what they were trying to mimic with that concrete? Um, this building was poured back in the 70s, and it's all concrete, um, and it's all about eight inches thick. And so each form that they had to do, um, basically, staggered them and poured it to kind of give it this different look, the depth, and 
tried to make it look like wood almost. Yeah, it does look a lot like wood. That's really neat. So do you want to show us what the final product is going to kind of yeah, look sure. like or what we're aiming for? Yeah. Um, so this, the two ends on the new side are going to be um, the bigger bit of this gallery. So we're going to try to make it match like that, but also update it with the pull down doors so you can the glass. Um, and so on this side, uh, last year, this side got renovated uh, by another person in our department. And so we're just trying to replicate that. And over here, Everything's going to be a little different. Each uh, part of this building is a little different, but we try to keep it all looking the same. Uh, so that will kind of be what we're going for. We'll be the finished product. Well, I think it is going to look amazing once it's all done. And this is our cover exhibits. And the interesting thing about this one is when we pulled the framing out, uh, the glass had to be a little more stable in there, um, but we also wanted to make this where we could move the boards in case something ever happened to the glass. And this is about an 800 pound sheet of glass, so we want to make sure that it's in there uh, very securely. Uh, so we had a frame put in, and it was an aluminum track that holds the glass, but just in case anything ever happens to this, we wanted to be able to remove this trim and make it where we don't have to tear it up to get it out and replace it. So this took a little extra engineering um, to make it all removable, but what would happen is we could take the sides off and take the top and bottom off, and then we would be able to remove the glass and then just put it all right back up there. So. That sounds awesome. Now, are there any special tools you guys use when you're working? Uh, we use a variety of things. Uh, right now, we have a lot of hand tools out. Uh, the different phases of the project, uh, when we went through the demolition, obviously there's a lot of hammers and pry bars, so that was the fun part, and we got to pull all that out. Um, and then uh, doing some of the concrete work, uh, we use a, you know, a lot of concrete cutting tools, things like that. Um, and doing the framing with uh, just the pine, uh, basically it's just a skill saw, uh, tape measure. Uh, when we get into some of the nicer woodwork, like with the oak, uh, we want to be a little more precise, so we have uh, so, uh, a lot better like measuring tools just to get in and uh, get everything as accurate as possible. Um, especially with these little things like this, um, getting it, everything to fit up nicely. And all of this is a bunch of different angles, so it's a little tricky. Like this here, to fill this angle in here, we had to cut uh, like a 60 degree angle this way, a 45 degree angle that way, and then chamfer it this way. So it's a lot of intricate work, so it takes a lot of time. Well, you guys are doing a fantastic job. Thank you guys so much for taking part of your day to um, show us a little bit behind the scenes with all the construction. I honestly can't wait to come back and see what this all looks like once it's done. Thank you guys. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to sign off. And remember, everyone, even though we're closed, we're still caring. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Facebook Live today.